a combination of factors allowed euro slash USD to rally over 100 pips on Thursday. The euro benefited after the ECB failed to push back rate hike expectations. Weaker US GDP print weighed heavily on the USD and remained supportive. The euro slash USD pair staged a solid bounce on Thursday and rallied over 100 pips from near two week lows after the European Central Bank announced its policy decision. As was widely expected, the ECB left its key interest rates and asset purchases unchanged. In the post-meeting press conference, ECB President Christine Lagarde acknowledged stronger-than-expected inflationary pressures, suggesting that the central bank has grown more concerned about inflation. Lagarde downplayed the need to hike interest rates, though failed to convince investors that bets for an earlier policy tightening were misplaced. The shared currency was further underpinned by the continuous surge in German consumer prices. In fact, the headline German CPI rose for the fourth successive month and came in at a 4.5% yoy rate in October, marking the fastest pace since 1993. This, along with the emergence of heavy selling around the US dollar, provided a strong lift to the major. The USD weakened across the board and tumbled to fresh one-month lows in reaction to weaker-than-expected US GDP print. The preliminary report showed that growth in the world's largest economy decelerated sharply to 2% annualized pace during the July-September period from 6.7% in the second quarter. Apart from this, the dominant risk on mood was seen as another factor that weighed on the safe haven greenback. However, a solid rebound in the U.S. Treasury bond yields helped ease the bearish pressure surrounding the greenback and kept a lid on any further gains for the major, rather prompted some selling during the Asian session on Friday. The overnight strong move up stall just ahead of the 1.1700 mark as the focus now shifts to the release of the flash version of the German GDP print. This will be followed by the Eurozone CPI figures, which will influence the common currency and provide a fresh impetus to the major. Later during the early North American session, traders will take cues from the US core PCE price index for some meaningful opportunities. Technical Outlook From a technical perspective, the recent bounce from YDD lows has been along an upward sloping channel. The top boundary of the channel, around the 1.1700 mark, coincides with 50-day SMA, which should now act as a key pivotal point for short-term traders. Against the backdrop of a sharp decline from September monthly swing lows, the mentioned channel might still be categorized as a bearish continuation pattern. This makes it prudent to wait for a sustained break through the 1.1700 confluence barrier before confirming that the pair has bottomed out in the near term. The subsequent short covering move has the potential to lift the pair towards an intermediate hurdle near the 1.1740 to 50 supply zone, above which bulls might aim to reclaim the 1.1800 mark. On the flip side, immediate support is pegged near the 1.1650 horizontal zone. Any subsequent fall might continue to attract some dip buying near the 1.1600 mark and find decent support near the lower end of the ascending channel currently around the 1.1585 region. A convincing break below will reaffirm the bearish pattern and turn the pair vulnerable to challenge YDD lows, around the 1.1525 region. Some follow-through selling below the key 1.1500 psychological mark will set the stage for the resumption of the recent downtrend witnessed over the past two months or so.